A Connecticut woman thought she had lost a cherished bracelet forever, and then she spotted it in a jewelry store display case. And now this woman from Stanford will soon be back in possession of the bracelet, whose sentimental value outweighs the gold and gemstones. CBS 2's Tony Ayala reports. At Peter Succi Jewelers, there are literally thousands of beautiful pieces on display. A Stanford woman couldn't believe it when she randomly looked into this case and spotted the very thing she desired most. The odds are unbelievable. Oh my God, that bracelet is a bracelet that was stolen out of my home a few years ago, and I was stunned. The woman asked that we not use her name or show her face. This is the unique emerald diamond and gold bracelet she and her husband purchased to celebrate the birth of their daughter. Spoke to me immediately. It said, this is my daughter, Shannon. The bracelet had been stolen from an upstairs bedroom three years ago and at some point sold to Peter Succi. Lady came in and sold us the bracelet. We took photo ID, driver's license, recorded the purchase, took a picture of what was purchased. That's the procedure that we do. Stanford police say because Succi carefully documents and reports precious metal purchases, it was easy to track back who had sold it. We retrieved a piece of jewelry, we were able to get an arrest warrant, serve that arrest warrant, and when the case comes to its full disposition, the victim will receive their jewelry back. A bracelet that links mother to daughter. And I believe that I was placed in that store on that day to find this piece of jewelry so that I'll be able to give it to her one day. Precious metal indeed. In Stamford, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Stanford police don't believe the 66-year-old woman who sold the bracelet is the person who stole it from the victim. The investigation continues.